Hey everyone, thank you for joining me today. I wanted to do a um, quick video about some luxury scarves that I have. I only had two, but I bought a third one the other day, so um, I'm hoping to unbox that at the end. So let's just get started, make this pretty quick. <clears throat> so my first scarf is from Burberry. It's just the house check, I believe. I got this a couple years ago. Um, I got my first ever Burberry bag and then I went into the store a few weeks later for some sunglasses and just kind of fell in love with this. I'd been wanting a scarf since I was in middle school basically from Burberry. So it's pretty wide and then it's fairly long too. I like this one because it's pretty thin. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see but it's it's pretty see-through. So it's nice and thin. Um, you can wear it kind of when it's starting to go into fall from summer and not quite too cold yet, but you kind of want to get into that fall mode of wearing scarves. It does have fringe on the ends, um, however the sides of it are not fringed, just the ends. I just really love this since it's nice and lightweight and it's also kind of that typical Burberry tanned uh I guess camel colored scarf. I just really love that. Um, I also like it because I am technically allergic to wool. It makes me itch really bad. This scarf is a blend. So I want to say, let me see if I can find the tag. It's a mix of wool and silk. And because it's a blend, I don't have a problem with it because the silk kind of counteracts it. Okay, so it is 49% silk and then it looks like 51% wool. So not too bad. Again, just really pretty house check. My sister has tried to steal this from me quite a few times and so I ended up buying her like a knockoff version of it that I found at Fred Meyer for Christmas a few years ago. My second uh, scarf is also a Burberry. This one is, let me just go ahead and read the tag really quick. It's also one of the uh, house print scarves. Um, this one, I know I said I'm technically allergic to wool. It's cashmere, so it's kind of the same thing. But what Burberry does with their scarves, at least their cashmere scarves, um, I heard they like rinse the material in spring water, so it's very smooth. It's very soft. It doesn't irritate my skin. Um, I still wear it with a shirt like this where I have um, something around my neck just in case though. And I did, for a while they were offering free monogramming, so I got it monogrammed with an R. That way no one else in my family could steal it. <laughs> um, but they have multiple colors of this scarf on their website. It's again just the house check. Not sure if I'd said that. But they have multiple colors. At one point, I think the website said like 79 colors or something crazy like that. This is, um, I'll post the exact info down below. It's just kind of a dark chocolatey brown. I want to say the color is chestnut. <clears throat> so chestnut brown. And then the R that I had monogrammed with. It's just kind of a nice thread that matches part of the check. And I really like it. I have a lot of shirts that are this reddish color. And let's see if you can see that. One of the stripes um, in the check is red. So I think that looks really good with a lot of shirts like this. I just love it. It's a lot warmer, obviously, than the other scarf. But it's just warm and cozy and um, really I honestly just love it. I would highly recommend getting one. I don't know if they're doing free monogramming anymore. I think it was just during the time of their sale so I think monogramming, monogramming is uh, back up to $75 um, for each item but you can get up to three initials. I just like getting the R but um, it's totally worth it in my opinion. They make them especially for you in um, Scotland 
and they always tell you, you know, once you order it, it can take up to, I think, six weeks or something like that. I literally ordered mine on a Monday, like Monday morning around 10 a.m., and the store called me like that Thursday and said, hey, we have your scarf back. So um, that was really nice. It was a lot faster than they were expecting. I'm not sure if just a lot of people weren't doing the monogram at that time, so they got it done quick and sent it out, but just really love that scarf. And then the third and last technically luxury scarf that I have I bought the other day from Louis Vuitton. So I haven't unboxed it yet. It's the proof of purchase. I bought two different items. So I'm just trying to see what receipts are for what. Okay. So this one was for the scarf. The scarf before tax was $590, and then with tax, um, where I live, it was $646.05. Just in case you wanted to know. I know some people don't put prices in their videos, but you can go online and see the price anyway. It's not. It's not like it's not known. I don't see why people make a big deal about it. So there's the box. I like this new ribbon a lot more than the leather cording. Okay, opening up the box. Just that. And I'd been wanting one of these for a while. I just wasn't sure what color to get because there were a few colors I was looking at. And the sales associate who um, helped me the day that I went in to purchase this, he's helped me before, very, very sweet, very honest in his opinions. I was debating between this and like a, I guess kind of, I think the color is called Dune or something like that. Like a, it's a very, very light beige, kind of off-white almost. And he said, no way, that washes everyone out unless you have the right skin color for it. And with me being so pale, totally washed me out. So he was right. So I ended up getting the red. I don't remember the official color name. I'll post that below. I always just kind of call it the cherry red because I have um, an Empreant clay in a similar red. So very excited. Um, I was kind of nervous about getting this because um, the poor sales associate, he put up with all of my questions. <laughs> he was very patient with me. Um, you obviously hear because all of the ends, I'm not going to unfold it completely, but all of the ends are fringed. So it's just kind of open. So these are prone to picking and snagging and all that horrible stuff that just, it can make them wear very badly so you always hear about that and his advice to me was that doesn't happen if you're careful with them and if you treat them right so his best advice was um, if you want to wear this sort of a scarf you put your jewelry on afterwards and you take your jewelry off before you put on the scarf so I was in the store and I think I already had my nose ring out that day because um, I went in after work. But obviously he said, you know, you want your nose ring out. I always wear a necklace. You want the necklace off. I did um, to respect the store's scarves that they have for people to look at and to try on. I did take my necklace off. Um, I had a coat on me that had a zipper, but I put that in my purse. I just, you know, it was bare as I could be nothing that could possibly snag it. I didn't have any earrings in, anything like that. So he said, as long as you're careful with it and you know, just very carefully put on your jewelry, be careful not to snag it, then it's perfectly fine. He also said that for the ones he has, he dry cleans them um, basically just once at the end of the season when he goes to put it away and then it gets folded up put in the box, put in the closet, and it's left alone until he uses it again. So he doesn't recommend dry cleaning them often, um, just because that kind of wears it a bit more. 
So I will definitely have to be careful with this because my cat is into everything. And I did tell him that. I was like, I'm afraid she'll be into it. So I just need to keep this out of her reach and not get it out unless I'm about to wear it. But there she goes meowing. Um, but yeah, I just really like all of my scarves that I have. I think I'm kind of boring. They all fall within the same colors, the browns and the reds, because each of them, I mean, obviously this is very red. They all have that little bit of red in them. So kind of boring with colors, but I love it. So, um, I hope you just enjoyed that. Uh, thank you for watching and have a great day. Thanks. Bye.